In this video, we will talk about our second approach, which is explicit conversion. What is the meaning of this explicit conversion? In the previous video, we were converting the data from this smaller type to the larger type, and we were 100% sure that this data will not be lost. Whatever we are having inside this type, we can simply put it over here in the larger one. But what will happen if we are having the opposite concept? What is the opposite concept? It means if this time I want to pass the data from this long to the small one like this what will happen for example if i want to assign the value of this long to this integer what will happen in that case i can also talk about one more example for example here i'm having this double value and in this double value i want to convert it to this integer value right for example in this double i'm having 2.57 and i want to convert it to the integer what will happen in this case there are two possibilities over here first is if the data that we have inside this larger box, if that is smaller than the capacity of this particular type, then there will not be any kind of data loss. But let's assume the capacity of this particular small box is equal to this line. And I'm having the water above this particular line. For example, till here. What will happen of this data? This data simply will be lost. And in the explicit conversion, we know that there might be some data loss. That is why we are saying it explicit conversion. Let's understand how this explicit conversion works in C sharp programming language. In the previous video, we were talking about this implicit. We were having this integer over here and we were having this long over here. Now let's assume I want to change their types. So I'm having this age as a long and I want to convert it to this integer. What will happen in that case? Here you can notice immediately I'm getting a red line. Why we are getting this red line? Let's hold the mouse and see what is the problem. It is saying cannot implicitly convert type long to int and explicit conversion exists are you missing a cost it is saying the implicit conversion is not possible from long to int and if you want to convert this larger value to the smaller one then you have to apply some casting over here how can we cast that value this is very simple concept just before this variable you have to put the parenthesis and inside that parenthesis you have to pass the target type the target type in this case is int so here i can simply use this int now what i am telling the program in this line i am telling that whatever value i have inside this age just simply cast it to the integer and you can notice that the error is gone if i will run this application over here then you can see we are having this 10 value this is because the value that we have inside this long is less than the capacity of this integer value but what will happen if i'm having something larger than this int capacity here let's assume that i want to assign the long dot max value and here i want to display both the values so in the first one i'm having this age and in the second one i'm having this my is or we can simply use some different names over here so let's say it is first and it is second right let's use this first everywhere now let's run this application and see what is the output over here. You can notice the output is totally different. This is the maximum value and we are simply converting this data to the integer and we are getting this minus one. Why we are getting this? Because the capacity of this int dot max value is much larger than the capacity of this integer value. Integer value cannot hold this large value and that is why we are having some data loss. In this case, you will not get any kind of compile time or runtime error. The only problem will be the data loss. Let's talk about our second example. Here, let's assume I'm having something in the double. Let's say it is third, right? And in the third, let's assume that I'm having this 12.37. That's the value I'm having over here. I want to convert this value to the integer type. What will happen? Let's assume I want to assign it to this second. How can I do that? So if I will simply use this third over here, you can notice we will get the error. It is saying that the implicit conversion is not possible. We have to simply cast it. How to do that? We can use this parenthesis and pass the target type, which is integer in this case. And you can notice the error is gone. This line will simply override the value, whatever we have inside this second variable. Let's run this application this time. Over here, you can notice we are having only 12. Why we are having 12? If I just simply comment this line, just to make the output clear, we are having only 12. Okay, let's understand this concept. In this third variable, we are having 12.37. But inside this integer variable, we are only getting this first part. Why? Because the integer does not work with the decimal values. And whatever we have after this decimal, that will be lost. If I'm having something larger number as well, 
then it will work until it will reach the capacity of the integer dot max value see this is working perfectly fine but if i will try to convert some string value to the integer in this case so let's say it is string a is equals to let's say i'm having this 10 over here and if i want to convert this string value to this second like this so what i'm doing is i'm having this variable of type string the value is 10 although the type is a string but i have put it as a numeric and if i want to cast this string to the integer by using this particular approach which is explicit conversion then i will get the error and it is saying that this casting is not possible but do not worry there are different ways available in csr programming language to convert these types as well we will talk about that in the upcoming video that is all in this explicit conversion in csr programming language